Hey traders, welcome back. Uh, I know it has been a minute since I have been on the YouTube channel and uh, trying to make a commitment this weekend to get back uh, to more regularly posting here. Uh, we've just been so busy in our live trading room. Uh, but today is Sunday and it's October the 24th. And I wanted to do something here in this video that I've, I've never done in the trading program. And uh, I hope that it will be beneficial to, to some of you here in, in, uh, that are following me on, on YouTube or Twitter. Uh, so as you probably know, if you are following this channel, first of all, if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Scott Stewart. I am a trader. I'm a full-time trader. I've been, been trading since 1987. That was what my career was back in the day uh, when I held a job was uh, I started in 1987 as a stockbroker. I went into venture capital. I ran a financial planning firm, um, uh, raised uh, some private equity, uh, was an option specialist at a brokerage firm. Uh, but anyway, that's my background and that's what I've been doing. And for the last uh, couple of years, um, I've been uh, throwing some videos up here on the YouTube channel and we have a live trading room in Discord where we trade uh, live uh, every single day of the week. Now, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we do it in a Zoom session, and we focus on the zero DTE. And that's the big thing. If you, if you, if you Google zero DTE, uh, boy, that is the hot topic right now for traders to look at. And that's kind of what uh, sort of launched my program, and that's what a lot of people seem to be interested in. And uh, so I, I wanted to do a couple things here in this video. Uh, I wanted to talk maybe about the progression that my program has had over the last year and where we're at today. And then I wanted to give you guys, uh, again, something that I've never done before. I wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes look at what we do um, inside of the program. And so uh, the reason that I'm doing this, there's not a, there's not a, I, I was going to say there's not a day that goes by. There is a day that goes by, but there's not a week that goes by where I don't get a inquiry of some sort saying, Hey, I, 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 I don't either a know if your live trading room is for me or B, I'm a little hesitant to input a credit card number. Uh, or C, I, it seems like it's a lot of money, $250 a month to access uh, your live trades. Um, uh, or or I, just, I just don't know, right? I'm just a little hesitant to, to give somebody money that I, I, I don't really know what it is or what it's all about. And I get that. Uh, and so what I want to do today here is I'm going to give you a couple of links uh, to to uh, uh, last Wednesday's trading day. Uh, so this would be uh, October the 20th, uh, our, our full Wednesday trading day, and October 22nd, our last Friday day. These links are uh, generally uh, uh, specific for our members, our private members. They're unlisted links that we put on the YouTube channel. Uh, but I'll get into that in just a second. First of all, I want to talk about the progression of our program, and then I'll talk about uh, your ability to watch us trade live over these these two days that I mentioned, and you'll get a little bit of a I think a flavor of you know who we are, what we do, how we work as a team. There's about 200 of us uh, in the trading room, uh, but there is a, a, a quite a large progression here, uh, as you can see on my screen here. I, I want to go through this with you. Back in uh, last year when we started our live trading room, it was solely focused on zero DTE trading of the SPX. That's a typical zero DTE program, uh, and that's what we did. And so uh, the whole entire program was built around three trades a week, which is kind of crazy to think about it now in terms of where we've progressed. But the whole program was just built around three trades a week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we would do a zero DTE trade, uh, zero data expiration, or a day trade, if you will, on the S&P 500, the SPX ticker symbol. Uh, well, the program has uh, has uh, evolved quite a bit from then. 
we do uh, a lot of trades today. This is not a uh, comprehensive list, but it is very, very close uh, to all of the things that we do. So today, the trading room has evolved quite a bit to where we still focus on our zero DTE trading. That is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we will do a zero DTE trade. Uh, however, um, uh, we don't always stick with the SPX. And so one of the things that we talk about in our trading room is you need to be, uh, you need to be flexible. You need to be mold mold moldable. You need to be able to be quick on your feet. And we've gone through very big periods, two, three, four week periods sometimes when the IV was just not there in the SPX. And it just didn't make sense from a risk reward standpoint to try to put on a zero DTE trade in that underlying. And so we've stepped out of side of the box a little bit and we will trade the NDX, we'll trade the NASDAQ, we'll trade the Russell, the, the RUT. Um, this past week, these examples that I'm going to show you here, uh, we absolutely crushed it. We absolutely knocked it out of the park. But we did it on the NDX. The premium this past week was in the NASDAQ. It wasn't in the S&P. And so we zeroed ETE uh, our trades on the NDX. Um, but we still continue to focus on our zero DTE trades. Those are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We do it in a live Zoom setting. So you, we are uh, live all day long, as well as inside of our Discord chat room. We've added, uh, starting last year, this was back on uh, December 7th of last year, uh, we added a four day to expiration trade that we do in the SPY and the Q. We do two of these every single week. We usually initiate them on Monday. Sometimes we initiate them on Tuesdays, but um, those have been tremendously successful. They avoid PDT. So if you have less than $25,000, those are options that are available to you because they are not considered day trades. So they avoid PDT issues. And because they're the SPY and the Qs, they're one-tenth the size of the NDX and the SPX. So you can trade it with smaller accounts, smaller numbers. Those trades have been tremendously successful. Uh, right now, going back to December 7th, we are 40 wins and 40 losses. So 40 wins, 40 losses, or excuse me, 40 wins, four losses. The 40 wins, 40 losses would be bad. Uh, 40 wins, four losses in the trade. So we're batting about 90% success rate uh, on those trades. Our bear market trades. Uh, I am going to work this week. Uh, so again, today is October the 24th. So sometime this week here, maybe hopefully tomorrow, if I am uh, really on top of it, I'm going to update the spreadsheet for our bear market trading strategy. This is a strategy that has been unbelievably successful for us. It, I will put a link in that video for the formula that we use. There's a, I believe, very proprietary. Uh, there's no numbers in there that are proprietary, but it is proprietary in the sense that I don't, I haven't seen anybody else use these metrics to find the trades, and then I haven't seen anybody structure the trades in the way that we structure these trades. These bear market trades are designed to make money if a stock goes down. Um, and uh, we have been tremendously successful. Over three year track record in that program, an average of 115% a year ROI on the program. And in three years, we've had two losses in that program. It is the most successful trading strategy that I've employed over the last three years. So we have the bear market trades that we put on in our program from time to time. Uh, we have volatility crush trades that we are doing now. These are generally centered around earnings. This week, um, we've got uh, a half a dozen uh, volatility crush trades that are going to be planned to uh, take place this week that we're going to be involved in. So we do a lot of volatility crush trades where we sell options on very expensive underlines just prior to earnings announcements and try to capture that volatility crush. We do a lot of hedging with futures. Um, this is a big, big, big part of our trading system. A lot of people are new to futures. They're scared of the futures market. But we have had some tremendous success at uh, enhancing our safety level of trades, 
adding some cash flow to our trading plans and uh, gaining some nice exposure to the other side of a trade. If we're long delta, we can get short delta. If we're short delta, we can get long delta by using the futures market to help us hedge these positions. So we do a lot of futures hedging. Uh, that happens sometimes overnight. We do have a very international trading room here. Um, all the way from the United States and Europe and Asia, uh, just basically around the globe. And so uh, you'll see uh, inside of our chat room posts pretty much any hour of the day as somebody is posting an idea in there. And I'll show you the, the chat room in just a second. Uh, we use undefined risk trades, credit strangle trades. Uh, pr these are primarily designed for individuals that have access to portfolio margin accounts. Uh, every broker is a little different with portfolio margin accounts. We tend to use and like Tastyworks as a brokerage firm, uh, which by the way, if you want to open up an account with them, we'll give you a referral code and we will send you a $50 Amazon card as well. But anyway, uh, they work best for portfolio margin accounts where you're getting five to one leverage versus two to one leverage in a normal margin account, but they still work in a normal margin account. We've been very, very successful with these as well. We do these every single week. And the goal with these trades is 1% a week. 1% a week is the goal. Now, again, we can't guarantee results. Nobody can, but that's that's the trades that we put on. We've been very successful with those. Uh, we do Dragonfly trades, which is, again, uh, I don't want to call it a proprietary trade because it's not a trade that only I can set up. Anybody could do this. But again, I don't see people doing these types of trades. A dragonfly trade, we call it a dragonfly trade. It is a enhanced version of an iron condor that gives a little bit better protection than an iron condor would. They are, in my view, much preferable to an iron condor. I think that the risk reward ratios on them are much, much better. And we do dragonfly trades from time to time in our, in our trading account, in our trading room as well. Uh, bracket orders. We do bracket orders quite often where we will simply throw on a bracket order where we have a take profit level at 3% take profit, uh, a stop loss at 1%. We throw those trades on. We let them do what they're going to do. They manage themselves quite nicely. And we've had some good success with those as well. And they're very passive trades. You don't need to watch them. You don't need to stay on top of them. Uh, every Wednesday, um, uh, we have oil inventory numbers that are released. And so every Wednesday, we are usually doing a trade in oil. Um, we use the micro futures contract generally to trade this in a directional nature. And those trades have been fun. And they're also uh, exciting to look forward to every Wednesday, knowing that we've got something to trade. Uh, commodity trades. We also trade commodities here as well. Uh, now, we are just as, as, as I speak right now, we are right now in a very exciting trade on the Japanese yen. Now, that's a currency trade, uh, but it's in the futures market. But uh, we do commodities quite a bit. We do wheat. We do corn. We do soybeans. We do oil. And we do precious metals. And there is, you're going to be hard pressed to find a credit trade, you know, whatever it is, a credit strangle or a credit spread, you're going to be hard pressed to find a credit trade of any kind on any underlying, any any stock that, that, that you might find. Even a stock that has 100% IV, you're going to be hard pressed to find one that has as high a potential ROI as commodities do. And commodities are nice. We like those because they are really pretty simple from a technical or fundamental standpoint to trade. It really just boils down to supply and demand, right? What is it that drives oil? What is it that that uh, drives a, a corn or a wheat trade? Um, or we have a nat gas trade that we're doing. You know, what is it that drives these markets? It's just supply demand, right? It's a little bit more straightforward than, say, a equity underlying. So these are a lot of the things that we're trading right now. Uh, I do want to show you just a, a quick look here inside of our uh, trading room. So this is our live trading room here. And uh, this is where all of the chat and uh, conversations take place. And uh, you can see, there we go, right there. 
Every single day that we uh, do a Zero DTE, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we do record those Zoom sessions and we post them on our YouTube channel in an unlisted uh, section for our members to review. We post all of our trades over here. You can see our trade inputs channel right here. Uh, every single trade that I make, every single solitary trade that I make in my account, uh, I post over here with a timestamp right when it's made so that the members can see what it is exactly that I'm doing. Uh, but we do, as, as I mentioned here, we do have um, a, a channel where we track basically every single trade that we do um, in here. And I wanted to share that link with you real quickly. So this is kind of what it looks like uh, here. Every single day we'll give a link to uh, our trades. You can see kind of how our results have been going back, well, pretty much every single day as far as you want to go. Uh, every day is recorded. Every day's result is booked in here. Uh, and you can see how those trades go, uh, whether it was a profit or a loss. And again, I wanted to share uh, last uh, two days that we have had. I wanted to share the 20th and the 22nd. On the 20th, and, and th this is not typical, I, I will say this, that this is not typical. On October 20th, we had uh, not one, not two, but five zero DTE trades. We were in and out of a zero DTE trade uh, five times. Uh, on Wednesday, we traded, uh, and, and by the way, all five of them successful, by the way, we traded the SPX once for a nice uh, capture, nice profit. We traded the NDX three times for a nice profit on each one of those. Um, uh, and then we traded the Russell one time. Uh, so very nice trades. The SPX, I only put $900. I did one contract on the SPX and I made $50. So $900 in, made $50 on the SPX. On the NDX trades, I had about $11,000 of capital that I was working with there. I brought in $1,800 of profit total on all three of those. And on the Russell trade, I put $7,200 in and made a profit of $869. So not, uh, not too shabby of a day, about a $2,600 day or so. Uh, with about the, the maximum capital committed on the day of about $11,000. On Wednesday, uh, we had two separate zero DTE trades. Uh, both of them were on the NDX. We had one NDX trade in the morning. We closed that out for a nice profit. We put another NDX trade on in the afternoon, closed that out for a nice profit as well. Those trades came in at about 11% ROI on the day. So just depending on what capital you put into that trade, uh, we ended up at about 11% on the day. Those are not typical days. <laughs> we do not typically double, triple, or quint quintuple uh, our dip on those days for zero DTE, but we've just had some very nice uh, opportunities in the last couple of days. And I think that one of the things, I, I, I had a message on Twitter uh, a couple of days ago from an individual saying, hey, you know, I'm in another zero DTE program. Uh, we had a loss on Friday. How did you guys do? And I said, well, I don't want to brag, but not only did we have a profit, but we had two profits. We actually double dipped on that day. And a lot of it is, you know, being willing to switch your indexes from the SPX to maybe another index, the NDX or the Russell. And it's being nimble. It's being flexible. It's being willing to put in just one leg of the trade or, you know, wait for that other leg of the trade and being disciplined. So what I'm going to do here, guys, in this video is I'm going to give you a link uh, below here for both of those trading days. It's the full trading day. It is the full entire trading day. So each video link is going to be about three hours long. Uh, but I want to give these because I want to overcome this issue of individuals saying, uh, yeah, if I could just, you know, have a free look, uh, a free peek into what you guys are doing that would allow me to know if this is something that I want to do or not. So if you're if you're serious about looking at the live trading room, there's going to be a little investment of your time here. Uh, you don't have to obviously watch each three hour segment. You can skip through all of those. But I think that you will see obviously what we do. You'll know exactly who we are and how we operate. 
the conversations that we have throughout the trading day. You'll see our results in live time. And you'll see a bunch of other things that we're doing there in the trading room beyond the zero DTE. So I will put up a link for uh, both of those trading days in the comment section below. I'll obviously, I'll, I'll leave a link for a free trial if that's something that you're interested in. And uh, you guys can, of course, always comment in this comment section below. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm always interested in your comments and I'll get right back to you. Thanks, guys.